Did you know that one of the world's most famous fashion designers was born right here in Frederick, Maryland? Claire McArdle designed clothing in the 30s, 40s, and 50s that changed the way women dressed then and now. The Frederick Art Club is honoring Claire with a larger-than-life-size bronze statue on the creek. Yes, we're changing the landscape in Frederick, and so many people are on board with our project. The words innovator, pioneer, iconoclast, they're all very overused, but Claire really was all of those things. And she was one of the first to really define American fashion for women. Inside the fashion industry, Claire McArdle is a very well-known name. She is revered. Designers today from Michael Kors to Isaac Mizrahi all credit her with not only pioneering American sportswear and fashion for women, but also very much influencing their work. If you're wearing a comfortable dress that makes you look good, that's ready to wear, you can thank Claire McArdle. She really helped to bring the voice of the American woman and the body of the American woman into the mass manufacturing of fashion. And of course, she famously loved to put pockets into everything. She was designing for practicality as well as beauty. Claire was born in 1905 on Rockwell Terrace in Frederick, Maryland. Her father was president of Frederick County Bank. She enjoyed playing with her brothers and she began to deconstruct their clothes to figure out how they were made. Even as a young child here in Frederick, she was stealing clothes out of her brother's closets and making dresses out of unusual fabrics. She was feeling frustrated by the dresses that she had to wear. And while she loved to play dress up, and she loved to rummage through her mother's closet and cut up her mother's magazines, she also was always envisioning her own style of clothing. She had an interest in fashion from an early age and wanted to go to what is now Parsons School of Design in New York, but her protective father prevailed and she went to Hood. And she did get to go to New York and the following year found herself in Paris buying samples and taking them apart and figuring out how they were cut, how they put together, how the fabric was used, and returned then to New York and graduated in 1928. And one of the things that's amazing about Claire is that she always designed for herself. So here she is in her 30s in New York, a career woman. She's really pioneering her way in the industry, but she hasn't really broken through with her own designs yet. The monastic dress was something that she found inspiration for during her travels in Europe. It didn't have what designers called hanger appeal, but when Claire put it on her body and belted it at the waist, it was stunning. A woman could tailor it to her own body and size, and you could look elegant and beautiful and simple in a very easy dress. During World War II, there was rationing on fabrics and eventually even on metal things like zippers. And some designers really turned their backs on this and they would try to get what they could as far as silks. But Claire embraces what she is given. She goes to suiting fabrics, a wool, or she'll do a cotton. She would do things like have grommets or she would have the tie waist that she introduces when they say that you can't use zippers. So she really embraces it. Claire gets a lot of awards, many accolades for her work. I think that being on the cover of Time Magazine is certainly one of the greater ones, but the one that she appreciated the most, I would say, is the one given her to by the Women's National Press Association, because she always called the newswomen, they're like her news girls. They really appreciated her designs, and when she received that accolade, it was given to her by President Truman. Unfortunately, Claire had an untimely death. She developed colon cancer. In March of 1958, she died and is buried at Mount Olivet Cemetery here in Frederick. The family decided to let her label die with her. Brother Adrian said it was not that difficult. He said, after all, Claire's ideas were always her own. Claire McCarl created something new, something wonderful. Remembering who people are is remembering what history is all about. If you know history, you can appreciate what the world is all about in Frederick County. One of the most 
challenging things about creating a sculpture of a historic person is to get to know that person and to get the feeling of who they were in the work. How do we portray her? And so I made several different iterations, but ultimately I chose to depict her in one of her most popular dresses uh, with her hand in her pocket. Think about the public art or the architecture that we see in our everyday lives. It shapes our values and it shapes who we are and how we live and, and what we think is beautiful and what we think is valuable. Uh, so shaping that in Frederick is, and being part of that uh, is, is a tremendous honor. And um, as a woman, it, it's like I'm creating this world that my daughter's going to grow up in and see women who are iconic. I think the spot that y'all have picked here, yeah. you know, is just perfect. There are a lot of different reasons why public art is so important to any community. Giving an opportunity in a public venue to celebrate the history uh, of a community, to celebrate its cultural values, to celebrate famous people that have originated here. It also is an opportunity to provide a venue to engage people in the appreciation of art. I just think it does so much to engage the community on all kinds of levels. It really is wonderful to be able to tell this story of someone who's got this Frederick connection. Uh, Claire McArdle is a name that if you are in fashion anywhere in the world, you know that name. She is that important to that industry. And I think to be able to share that story with our own residents is a really exciting opportunity for us. Public art plays into that high quality of life. It provides us with a sense of place, a sense of belonging. We know Frederick County residents love and value their history. So a bronze statue of Claire McArdle would share that piece of history, celebrate her and her legacy, and know that women have really been leading the way in Frederick County for generations. When the Frederick Art Club came to the Community Foundation to create the fund and talk about this idea, we brainstormed all kinds of ways to stimulate philanthropy, get community support. This fund, which honors Claire McArdle, is a natural fit. I think she symbolizes a lot of what Frederick's about. Art, innovation, commerce, design, her being here and forward-looking person she was really says a lot about what Frederick is. This art project is going to draw people not just from Frederick, but from all over the country. And I keep envisioning what it will be like for a mom or a dad to be standing there with their daughter, learning about this woman and being incredibly inspired by this role model who we get to call our own here in Frederick.